I want to take you to the OT region, where an MPP party agent at a registration center in the Akan constituency was assaulted by some individuals after he challenged their eligibility to be registered in the ongoing registration exercise. Francis Agosson claimed he had received threats after raising the objections to the identity of the individuals believed they were Togolese who shouldn't be allowed to have their names on the electoral roll. Correspondent Peter Seno has more. But for the attack on Francis Agosson, the first phase of the voters' registration exercise would have ended an incident free in the Akan constituency. Francis was scheduled by his party to the Chotome Registration Center, a border community to the Republic of Togo. This area is very hard to reach. It took officials of the Electoral Commission more than half an hour to get to the center. The only crime Francis committed was to challenge a non-resident who he believed was coming from Togo. Francis has been sharing his ordeal with Joy News. I went to Chatama to continue my official duty as a police agent. And a man came and I challenged him not being a Ghanaian and not a resident of Chatama, a lateral area. And he got annoyed and left the area. And the man who left because I want to challenge him, came back and walked towards me directly and said, Kofi Ago, I want to assure you that the following day, which will be tomorrow, he's coming to register. And if I challenge him, he will beat me and kill me. And he left. The following day, came to my desk, hit at my desk three times, and she called my name three consecutive times, Kofi, Kofi. Today, I will let my tax beat you. And when you die, I'll bury you at where your late brother has been buried in Chatame. And uh, the rest of the two held me, pulled me out of my desk, started beating me. Francis also has this advice for his colleagues of the political divide. If no security is being provided to that center, the person shouldn't go because his life lies in life and death. The regional police commander of DCOP Polity is warning residents in the region adding the police would act without any political considerations. For nobody can take the law into his hands, just as I said. And so if you flout the regulations, we will deal with you. The regional minister, Kwesi Osu Yeboa, has also been visiting some registration centers to apprise himself of the situation on the ground. He is appealing for calm as the law takes its course. Whether you are national or not, uh, the law requires that you should behave responsibly. And therefore, anybody who will engage in any unlawful act uh, will, be, will be arrested and prosecuted because we want to live in a state of law and order. We believe that to ensure security, the law must be enforced. People must respect the law. So I'm appealing to all citizens that there is a need for all of us, you see, to be law abiding and to follow the regulations as laid down by EC. If we don't understand anything or we are in disagreement, we should express it in a very calm manner. I mean,